Well, welcome to our service this evening, or whatever time you're watching it, if you're watching it on the internet. Uh, we're coming from St. Mary's in Hook. Come before the Lord and listen. Do not be afraid, but do not be cowardly either. Let us seek God's grace to be faithful and firm in search of truth and unity, for that is our calling. Lord God, as we gather today, help us to see the strength and unity in our community. Help us to think about things that might strengthen it further and to recognise things that might damage it. Amen. Some of you will have recognised the uh, piece of introductory music as this uh, song that we're now going to sing, but we're going to sing it not using that track, but using a backing track that's got the words on as well. Uh, so we have the hymn, Beauty for Brokenness. If you want to join in, otherwise do just feel free to listen to it. For brokenness, hope for despair Lord, in the suffering, this is our prayer Bread for the children, justice, joy, peace Sunrise to sunset, your kingdom increase Shelter for fragile lives, cures for the ills Work for the craftsmen, trade for the skills Land for the dispossessed, rights for the weak Voices to plead the cause of those who can't speak God of the poor Friend of the weak, give us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, let tears fall like rain. Come change our love from a spark to a flame. Sanctuary, freedoms to share Peace to the killing fields Scorched earth to green Christ for the bitterness His cross for the pain God of the poor Friend of the weak Give us compassion we pray Tears fall like rain Come change our love From a spark To a flame Rest for the ravaged earth Oceans and streams Plundered and poisoned A future and Lord, in our madness, carelessness, green Make us content with the things that we need God of the poor, friend of the weak Give us compassion, we pray Melt our cold hearts, the tears fall like rain Change our love from a spark to a flame 
live on this flame until your justice burns brightly again. Until the nations learn of your ways, seek your salvation and bring you their praise. God of the poor, friend of the weak, give us compassion, we pray. Melt our cold hearts, the tears fall like rain. Come change our love from a star to a flame. Change our love from a storm to a flame. And now a reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18. If another believer sins against you, go privately and point out the offence. If the other person listens and confesses it, you have won that person back. But if you are unsuccessful, take one or two others with you and go back again, so that everything you say may be confirmed by two or three witnesses. If the person still refuses to listen, take your case to the church. Then, if he or she won't accept the church's decision, treat that person as a pagan or a corrupt tax collector. I tell you the truth, whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven, and whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. I also tell you this, if two of you agree here on earth concerning anything you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. For where two or three gather together as my followers, I am there among them. Let's just pray. Dear Lord, we ask that as we think about what you taught, so it may help us to function well and to build good communities. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus uh, was one of those people who was willing to address uh, the real issues of his life and the world around him. And the real issues of life are that Sometimes we fall out with one another. And the reality of that is that we have to find a way through it. And one of the great things that uh, many philosophers say about Jesus and the way that he taught was that he teaches us to forgive and to put into the past so much that uh, causes grief and anguish and ongoing uh, destruction of friendships, communities, and pain and vengeance. Uh, which so often is the source of much that uh, causes problems in the way that we are, where we always want to get back against somebody who's hurt us, is one of the most destructive forces in our world. And we uh, somehow have to address it. And Jesus teaches us to forgive and to find a way of caring for everybody and trying to resolve problems, not by always seeking our own way. But he also recognises at times that we need to be able to address things strongly and well where somebody is causing a problem and causing us to be in a problem and not just let it carry on in that way. Not to be downtrodden and crushed by our willingness to try and be those who are peaceable and those who are forgiving. 
And so we have passages like the one before us today where Jesus teaches us that if somebody, particularly somebody in the close fellowship of the Christian community, somebody who we should trust, uh, hurts us and causes us problems, uh, does something, then we should talk to them about it. And when we talk to them about it, we should at first do so privately in the nicest possible way, try to deal with it. If they then refuse to try and deal with it, we go with other people who we trust to try and deal with it. And if they refuse to deal with that, then we take them and we ask those who are wise and those who are leaders within uh, the Christian community, of course. Uh, the word that is written in the uh, Greek is the fellowship, the koinona, the people of God, and not the church. It's very easy for us to see the church and the church authority as what, uh, what they are being called to bring the people before, but they are not being asked to do that. They are being asked to bring them into the community that they are a part of and the wisdom of those who are the leaders of that community and to try and get them to resolve the issue. And if the issue is not resolved because the person chooses not to uh, live in a way that is community, in a way that is full of a love and kindness, of forgiveness and hope. If that person chooses to continue uh, hurting another person, then they are to be treated as somebody outside of that community. When uh, Jesus says they should be treated like a pagan or a corrupt tax collector, he doesn't uh, suggest that they should therefore be completely rejected because he spends a lot of his time trying to love those who are outside of the Jewish community with his, in his life. And he helps his people to be those who try to change around those people. And we hear that wonderful story of Zacchaeus, don't we, where somebody who was a corrupt tax collector meets with Jesus and changes their position and comes back to being somebody who is no longer corrupt. And so it is that even when we have to ask that person to be outside of the uh, closeness of the community that we are trying to build of love and care because they don't want to do it. They don't want to be involved in it. We are still hoping that they will be changed, just like Zacchaeus, changed back into being somebody who doesn't want to operate in a sinful way, whatever that sin may be. And sometimes we need that wisdom of the whole community to be able to identify what sin is and what's right and what's wrong. Sometimes we need to be those who are changed ourselves. And it may be that we hurt somebody else and they come to us and say, you've hurt me. And we might be the person on the other end of this story rather than the person who is going and asking uh, somebody to change from their ways. Because very easily, each one of us is able to go wrong. So we ask that God may help us to always be willing to keep short account with where we've gone wrong and to be able to be willing to talk to others about where things have gone wrong in our relationship with them so that we can bring healing into those relationships so that we can embrace one another as friends again. Maybe not actually embracing, we're very English, we don't need to get on and uh, be quite so uh, expressive, uh, but at least being in good relationship where we can talk and discuss and sometimes discuss with absolute uh, forcefulness and disagreement but knowing that we're the best of friends that we are people who want the best for the other person because Jesus teaches us that we should always want the best for the other person even when they are our enemy even when they are outside of our community because they have chosen not to be part of it and we are still to love and to be able to get on with them even if we're in strong disagreement and strong argument. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so as last week, well, St. Paul was teaching us as much as possible to be those who create hope and uh, create good relationships. Jesus also teaches us to do that. And where it is not possible, he teaches us to look after ourselves so that we won't be corrupted by the disagreement or wrong attitudes of others. We pray that he may help us and guide us.
because it's never easy to do these things well and we need to constantly be growing and learning how to do it. Amen. This uh, song, Let Us Build a House uh, Where Love Can Dwell, All Are Welcome, is one that expresses that idea that we are to be a community which welcomes everybody. And uh, we again listen to it all sing along as we choose. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Built of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Here the love of Christ shall end divisions. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place.
And now we come to our time of prayer. Do please join in any sentences in bold. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us admit our failures and weaknesses. God of truth and integrity, we ask your forgiveness for the times when we avoid conflict to preserve popularity and to avoid being challenged or criticised. Free, Free us from, from fear, fear and, and enable, enable us to do, do conflict well. When those around us challenge our actions, our words, our complacency. When we don't or didn't listen, we say sorry. Free, Free us, us from pride and, and enable, enable us to do conflict, conflict well. We are sorry when, as a church, we collude with that which is wrong and compromise when we should convict or speak out. Free us, Free us from, from falsehood and, and enable, enable us to do conflict, conflict well. well. We, we ask, ask this in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. God of peace. Your forgiveness makes us one and cleanses us from all our mistakes. Wiping away our excuses, our justifications, our grudges, our mistakes. Thank you for the cross of Christ through which hope, reconciliation and new beginnings flourish. And help us to be brave in our communications, wise in our discernment and faithful to you. Amen. Eternal, ever-living God, we pray for those who this day need our prayers. Those we see around us. Those we have left at home. Family and friends near and far. Strangers and communities we will never meet or know, but whose peril we hear of and see on our screens. Lord God, in your abundance of mercy, hear, hear our, our cries, cries and, and meet, meet these, these needs. needs. For those whose life is ebbing away, consumed by old age, frailty, illness or neglect. Those who grieve deeply for lives and loves lost. Those who cause grief and chaos in society and who live seemingly with different values from ours. For them and their victims and their families. Those who are forgotten, unnoticed, unloved, unmissed. 
Lord God, in your abundance of mercy, hear our cries and meet these needs. we join together in this Lord's Prayer. Our Dad in heaven above, let everyone look up to you and the area where you are in charge grow. May what you want happen on earth as perfectly as it does in heaven. Please give to us what we need for today. Forgive us when we think or do wrong things, just as we don't hold it against those who hurt us. Guide us away from whatever we might want, but is unhelpful to us, and protect us from all that is nasty and destructive. For you are in charge of everything. You have the power to do it, and you are awesome. You always were, you are now, and always will be. Amen. And this last hymn is uh, a take on the uh, version of Amazing Grace sung to the traditional 19th century American tune uh, with uh, an added chorus.
amazing grace The earth shall soon dissolve like snow The sun forbear to shine But God who called me here below Will be forever Join in this final prayer together. God, God of, of peace, peace we, we pray, pray for peace throughout the world. Send us out as peacemakers, people who help to set things right, where there is disagreement, who try to resolve conflict. Show us the way of peace in our own lives and in our homes and places of learning in our streets and throughout our community. In Jesus' name, so be it. Amen. May your heart be at peace and your mind be at rest. May you be confident in who you are and share God's gifts of light, hope and grace with those you meet and those you pray for. And may the blessing of God fill your hearts with hope this day and evermore. 